always treat you for the cash Everybody hit the floor before you make me mad Devil had to hit his soul, living too fast Praying to the Lord, my soul to keep Trolling me, holding me Bitches ain't shit, got exposed by E So naive, cold in the streets Sleep on my feet Money turn homies to zombies, they eat Miss my grandma, she was humble and sweet Now my whole family hurting Trying to see the light, but we couldn't pull the curtain Nighttime lurking Mama said the street lights better stop working Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing how to sound like Offset on GarageBand. So I did one a while back, I'd say about a little over a year back, probably a year and a half now, on um, on iOS and this one's going to be on Mac. So this can also apply to iOS and it's going to be updated and in my opinion it's a lot better than my first one. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first thing that we are going to do, I kept one singular track throughout the whole thing. If you guys want to do some panning and stuff, by all means do that yourself but for the purpose of the video I'm just gonna be sticking with one 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 track here so the first thing that's really important is our channel EQ so what I did I have a preset that I use for my beat solo microphone that I'm using it's kind of just on the headphone cord the auxiliary microphone and um, for the offset what I really tried to do is kind of boost boost this mid this low end right here so you want to take the orange you want to boost it a little bit and then take the red and give it a little boost there but cut out this using the, the red tool over here cut out all the way up from the 150 but then still boost it using the orange and then you want to take out a lot of those mids to kind of give give a better microphone sound um, I didn't boost that much here and then at the end you want to give it a little bump but then take out the stuff here at the end and that kind of gives some of that nice like fat sound that you get from offset sometimes um, at least in the red room I can kind of hear that and then for my compressor um, it's pretty standard I have my same ratio that I always use and then same compressor threshold that I always use the attack I again kept it middle because I don't want it to be too transparent my voice to be too transparent but I don't want it to be really suppressed I honestly could probably bring it down to maybe around 40 or so 44 in this case um, but it's really up to you what you want uh, for your sound and then um, the next thing I did was my gain um, just how it fits into your mix so that shouldn't really matter as much um, that's really what pertains to you and what type of microphone how loud your other tracks are and things like that all right so there we have the channel EQ and the compressor now we're gonna go into our platinum verb so this is where the important stuff comes in so you definitely want to have some reverb to give a little more color to your track and a little more Sp um, space to your vocals but again with offset you don't want a lot unlike Quavo or some of his other counterparts in um, the Migos or other trap artists he doesn't use that much reverb in most of the songs especially um, especially in Red Room so um, I kept the reverb time around 1.9 seconds so it's not super high but you still want a little bit and then everything else is how I usually have um, but then the wet was at 29% so I didn't want it to be too high at all but it's just enough so that you can get that kind of little space, spacey sound and you can kind of feel that. And then for my pitch correction, um, what I did was I didn't want it too low, but I didn't want it too high. I was kind of having trouble figuring out what's the good spot and I kept on having to play around with that. If you want more of that tune to your voice, more of that like robotic, robotic aspect, you can raise it, but it doesn't have to be all the way up. And I don't think Offset always uses that a lot. Sometimes he puts it actually pretty subtle. I know in songs like... Um, What's it? It's like legacy, clout. Yeah, he doesn't use that much, that much auto tune actually. But in certain songs like Red Room, you can definitely see he uses more. So that is a it's a pretty simple preset for doing offset since he's not a super complex um, in terms of his vocal styles. Unlike maybe like Little Skies, Little Tekka, Travis Scott, who uses a lot of harmonies and uh, presets and plugins. Um, Offset's pretty straightforward. It's pretty versatile. You can do a lot of things with it. Kind of gets a fat, dark trap sound. Um, yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Peace.